Okay, so before we were hit with that catastrophic catastrophe, um, we were about to do what exactly? We were about to do, I believe it was Card Capture Sakura versus. How did I turn this off? There we do that. Let me grab. Actually, why is this? Why did that change the CPU? It's player one. And this should be you, I believe. Oh, wait, no, it was Ashley. Ashley! There we go, okay. And we're about to do good egg galaxy, I think. Please don't freeze this time. Okay, we're good. Heck yeah, it's the battle, I think I was saying, of the Maho Shoujo. Magical girl, magical girl time. You know, it is the most gigantic anime stereotype you will ever see. Uh, but yeah, Card Captors is that show back in the day where, you know, it was it was a good show, but it was really bizarre. It's like, man, how can you, like, you know, it's okay to watch the show with the girl main character. But it's like, man, whatever. Going to watch it anyway. It wasn't the first time I would be criticized for the shows that I watched. And it probably wouldn't be the last. Anyway, Ashley's kind of dead. And I didn't change the time. I still timed because I had to reset the game after it froze. That was pretty weird. Uh, Waterblock warned me that game, uh, this game would sometimes maybe freeze. But he said that it would do no harm. Um, and he was telling the truth about that. So there's nothing to worry about it up here. Um, also, what was what even just happened there? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I don't normally play as Zelda, so this is kind of weird for me. Also, if we press start, uh, that is actually a very, very nice model. I have to admit that, I mean, these models are done very well. They look quite good. Um, but yeah, I don't normally use Zelda. Like, so what are some of her good attacks? Like, we have that. What happens if we transform? Whoa! <laughs> Cardcaptor Sakura turns into the Wii Fit Trainer! That's the most fantastic thing! So pretty much, Cardcaptor Sakura is the spirit- sorry, no, Wii, Wii Fit is the spiritual successor to Cardcaptor. She's like, screw this, I don't want to be a magical girl anymore. And she devoted her life to making people lose weight. Wow, that is, that is the most fantastic thing ever. This is so awesome. Like, that is absolutely ridiculous. Also, I think, yeah, we have, we have a buoy bass in the background music, which is absolutely fantastic. Definitely one of the greatest songs from Super Mario Galaxy, if not the greatest song. Uh, the Boo song is also fantastic. Also, wow, I would love to get that Smash Ball. See what we can do with that. But it looks like we're about to run out of time, because, you know, time the matches. Ooh. No, that's why Stock is the best. Oh, I wish I would have won as Card Captor Sakura. It would have been way better to see what her kind of final pose was. But okay, who should we battle with next? I have no idea. There's just, there's too much to choose from. Darn this game and its infinite choices. Man, oh yeah, I said it's going to be Miyamoto, but we've already played as uh, Zelda, as Layton, which kind of, you know, makes me want to try someone completely different. But who would fit the bill? Oh, that's right, Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man. I said I was going to play as Mega Man. Um, so yeah, I don't believe there was, um, you know, classic Mega Man. It was this Mega Man, and then there was Beck from, um, what's it called? Man, I, I'm having so much trouble with Mighty Number no. 9 related stuff tonight. Okay, so we got that, and I think we'll move you. Maybe we'll do Mega Man versus Beck. Who, who was Beck again? No, I, I wanted to be Mega Man here. Yeah, who, who was the modification of Beck? Was it you? No, it wasn't you. I'm forgetting this. Uh-oh. Actually, no, it might have been Mario. I think it was Mario. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. And I think we need to try Dr. Wily's Castle, an epic battle of Mega Man versus New Mega Man. Heck yeah. Three, two, one, go! Wow, we even have some epic Mega Man 2 Wily's Castle music here. That is awesome. I know, yeah, it's really weird. Man, I'm playing as Samus, although I feel like it, it's weird because Mega Man and Samus have never had, you know, kind of the same controls in their games. They've always been very different, and the same applies in Smash Brothers. I keep thinking it's going to kind of control like a Mega Man game, but it doesn't. Also, wow, you even have the moving platforms here? This is fantastic! I mean, it looks great. It, 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 it's Mega Man! This is awesome! And I didn't even change the time again. Darn it, Andrew! Mental notes, change the freaking time or I'm going to quit. Also, what is Samus' final Smash? I haven't played Smash Bros. Brawl in so long. Heck yeah! <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Oh wow, now we're Zero Suit Mega Man! 
Wow, I need to <laughs> Mega Man X is actually <laughs> Why is it going so slow? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is funny. That is really, really funny. That is really freaking funny. Oh my gosh. That is just so perfect. <laughs> it's just... I, I, I mean, see, that, that's the thing, because... Oh wow, now I'm back to Mega Man again. This is great. Because, I mean, like, Zero Suit Samus and Sheik are being used as, you know, separate characters. So that's why when you transform into, you know, Zelda would normally transform into Sheik, and Samus would normally transform into Zero Suit Samus, um, you know, that would normally, you know, would normally make sense. But since those people are being used as completely different characters in this game, you never know what the heck you're gonna get. And that is just too funny. I'm sorry, but that was absolutely... That was, that, there was no words for that. Mega Man all along has actually been this girl in disguise. I am loving this. Thank goodness Layton doesn't have a transformation. Man. Mega Man kind of has an interesting pose there, but we'll ignore it. Um, <laughs> I mean, now that we know the truth, I guess it makes sense. Oh, man, I need a second to recuperate from that. I was not prepared for that at all. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was fun. Let's see, who should I be? Who the heck should I be now? I don't know if we're ever going to be able to top that. I should really just end off the video now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to stop spazzing about that. Oh, that, that was just way out there. No, we're, we're going to be Hank Hill. Who should we fight off against? Oh, I don't want to do team battle. Forget that. Um... We'll face off against random. Why not? And we'll even do a random level. Princess Peach's Castle. Why not? Okay. It's Hank Hill versus... Who is this? It's... It's not... It's it's kind of Mega Man, but it's it's not Mega Man. Is it supposed to be like... Um, bad costume Mega Man? Is that the joke here? I, I'm actually not 100% sure. Because it definitely just looks like... You know, Ness found a helmet somewhere and kind of put it on. I don't know, but you know, Hank Hill, we're going to show him the way of the propane. And we're going to destroy all. Oh, wow, yeah, Hank Hill has a rocket launcher. This, this makes perfect sense, actually. <laughs> this is freaking fantastic. <laughs> Look at the way Hank Hill moves. He moves like Solid Snake. I am loving this. And yeah, Hank Hill cannot take the heat of his own barbecue grill, my Bob. Oh. This is, this is really fun. He's gonna throw mini propane canisters at your face. Oh, this, I'm still exhausted after that last match. That was just not something I was prepared for. I want to see Hank Hill's final smash. I need to see Hank Hill's final smash. Yeah, if you want to kill... I didn't change the time. Next time, I promise. But okay. We are about to see Hank Hill climb onto a ladder and shoot down... This Mega Man wannabe. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is really funny. Like, man, I am loving this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, this is just like the greatest thing. Thank you so much, Water Block. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it in this part, so I probably will end up defining this in the two parts, because it's going to be so long. Just thank you so much for, you know, sending this to me and just thanks for making it um if you haven't checked it out again there's the link in the description below you're gonna have to have a modded Wii it's not a hard thing to do I believe you can do it with any version now there's not like you know you have to be on you know an earlier version or something like that I believe that it's easy enough to mod it with no regardless of which version you have um so check that out there probably won't be instructions to mod your Wii in the description I may put them in I may not uh, but they should be easy enough to find on Google anyway you know, Google. Google is your friend. Also, you will need an actual Super Smash Brothers Brawl disc to do this. <laughs> it's kind of slow motion there. 
Um, because, yeah, what happens is you put the files on your 2 gigabyte SD card that modify the game, but you actually still have to put the real disk in in order for, you know, there to be a game for the, the, for the, uh, the, mod the files on your SD card to modify. Oh, man. Okay. 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 Who should we be? Who should we be? Like, there's just too much choice. Like, I, I, I never thought I'd say that there were too many characters to choose from in Super Smash Bros., but there are. There freaking are. Oh, I want to be Marty McFly. Who is Marty McFly supposed to be? I actually... Oh, the name's right there. Captain Falcon. Okay, that, that, that should be hilarious. Who should Marty McFly beat up? Too bad it's not like Doc or anything around here. The, you know, the Doc. Uh, who should we beat up? We've already seen Mario. Someone who we haven't seen. The Villager. It's kind of funny considering, you know, the Villager... The, the Villager? The Villager is kind of like, you know, the character is going to be the new one. They almost kind of look similar, actually. <laughs> the Villager is the Animal Crossing version of Marty McFly. I'm completely canonizing this. I don't even care. And where would be the best place for them to have an epic showdown? Huh. Let's see. Where would a good place... Where have we got over here again? Some Let's do, oh, we should have done this level with Mega Man. But I'm actually interested in seeing. Of all the things to choose from Mega Man, a random level from Mega Man X6 is actually really kind of an interesting choice. It looks good, though. <clears throat> I'm also starting to lose my voice. Although I think you can understand why. Oh, there's also those guys in the background who, like, murder people's souls. I have no idea what I'm doing. Where the heck am I? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. This level, I believe, did go dark and stuff like that. This is pretty cool. I like this. And there's that guy in the background who you kind of fought, but it was kind of hard to kill him. Okay. And I didn't even change the time again. Wow. I am just the dumbest guy. Forgetting to change the clock up there. Next time, I promise. Or I will throw my Wii out a window. Okay. This is freaking awesome. So, what exactly is to the left? Like, ugh. Like, can you help? I, I tried to hold on to that thing, but I don't think you actually can. Ooh, Smash Ball. Yes, let us see Marty McFly unleash, un unleash his wrath. I want to see that. Okay. Okay, so that's what this does. I could actually not remember what Marty Mc uh, what Captain Falcon's final Smash was. That was epic. Also, we have Sandbag. I never understood why Sandbag existed in this game. Um, but oh well. The villager's dead, and that's all that matters. But yeah, there's that guy down there. And then those guys over there would usually kind of go over to them and corrupt them so that they would become bad guys, but you were actually supposed to save them. They were kind of like hostages. And if you didn't save them all, it kind of sucked because you would go look through your list of hostages in the game, and you'd be like, man, I like missed that one guy and, not, and you know let him got, get caught by the evil dudes. And that was never a good thing when the guy got caught by the evil dudes. Oh, man. I am enjoying this so much. <laughs> it's not even funny. Okay. Although the villager does need to die. I do like Marty McFly, though. <laughs> he went to the future and, you know, trained his, uh, his, you know, fighting skills. Like, look at that. Rapid fire. Future punch to the face. There. Please die. Aw. I couldn't even end with another. Whoa, would that have actually hurt me? Like, why did you wait two minutes before you shot that? <laughs> oh, man. That is funny. That is really funny. Also, the background is always Banjo-Kazooie, which is pretty cool. Oh, wow, that was a thing. That was completely a thing. Okay, before I forget, yeah! Okay, one or two more battles, and I think we'll call it a day, because I'm going to die and lose my voice if this goes on much longer. What kind of cool people can we be? Okay, we're going to be a waffle. How the heck do you play as a waffle? I need to know this. I do. Um, this guy. Actually, no, this was sheep, right? Yeah, we don't need to be sheep again. Uh, Zero Suit Samus, we don't need to be again. Um, who else can we have not? Oh, there has to be someone cool as Bowser. Skull Bowser, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's do this. And what level should we do? Random level. What, oh, Water Temple. Sure, why not? This could be cool. Can you... No, you probably can't swim. Oh yeah, you can in this game. But yeah, guys, I'm a waffle, okay? I am killing people as a waffle. <laughs> Home run bat with a as a waffle. Like, this is fantastic. Oh, I can't suck. 
Thank you. How, how do you even fly off the screen inside of a cave? Oh, the waffle's Kirby, right. So you can kind of fly around. What's Kirby's final smash again? Uh-oh, no, you are not doing this. Darn. Um, whoa, okay. Okay, Bowser, when, when Bowser, you know, does his final smash, he turns into, I want to say it's like, it's like Metal Blue Eyes White Dragon or something like that. No, who is that? Was that Ridley? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Metal Ridley. I don't know. There's too many Metal, uh, um, uh, wait, 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 what are they called? Too many Metal Aerodactyl type dragon things out there for me to distinguish exactly which one that was supposed to be. Uh, but, wow, Bowser's down to one life, which is pretty nice. So we're going to Cracker Launcher him. Into oblivion, because you know, why not? Why the heck not? There we go, and you can't even see him fly off into the background. Water Temple may be the worst or most annoying level in the original Ze uh, Ocarina of Time, or you know, in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, but in this game, it was not so bad. Ah, uh, okay. The battle to end all battles. Who should we do? What should we do? How should we do? Oh, chunks versus who? 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 Who should we do? Oh, chunks versus Sailor Moon. It's kind of the battle of the Maho Shoujo, but not really. Uh, oh, chunks can be a pretty magical girl if he wants to be. Um, but anyway, let us see. What level should we do? What the heck level should we do? We have something from Pokemon. Ends Castle. Ends castle. Let's do this thing. <laughs> wow, O Chunks is like three times the size of Sailor Moon. Again, uh, it's like Sailor Moon kind of fused with Peach. She she doesn't look like she doesn't have the things in her hair. I guess it could be when she's you know she's being Usagi and not necessarily Sailor Moon identity, but we shall see. Uh, anyway, let us throw banana peels at her face and wreck all of her makeup. Um, wow, it could be a kind of lightning coming there. Who is Sailor Moon supposed to be in? Oh, yes, Peach. That's right. Oh, that went right over her face. So, are we going to have random Pokemon showing up in the background? Oh, is this kind of like that level where the Pokemon show up in the background randomly? Okay. I'm kind of understanding things here. Also, yes, we're a DK, so we can do epic punches in people's faces as they come near, just like that one. Heck yeah. So, I have a piece there. I have a piece there. I don't think we've actually shot this thing yet. Actually, that's how Layton got killed, which is sad. Very sad. Um, okay, let's see here. What have we got? No, I'm going to collect all the pieces of the Triforce, whether you like it or not. And yes, look at O-Chunks. Well, that's actually a really smart modification of DK. O-Chunks makes a very good DK, I have to say. Um, anyway. Ugh. Punch you. Come over here. She's not coming to, like, where I can punch her in the face very easily, which is very annoying. She also has the other two pieces of the thing, which I would greatly like. Also, you're about to die. Wow, okay. I swear, if you kill me... Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did that blah bomb even come from? I don't really understand what exactly is going on here, but I'm not going to complain. It's kind of funny. Is that a bad one? Please be a bad one. Man, you're just, like, you know, stealing all of my pieces of the thing. Because, you know, it's very important that you collect the thing. Anyway, when you come back, you're going to be punched in the face or not. Give me my last piece. Give me my pieces. My friend and I always make a joke about how, like, 300 years later, they're still going to be looking for the one piece, so it's like, and your whipper snapped after my one piece. And I'm not going to do an impression of an old man anymore. Um, Sailor Moon, would you die, please? Wasn't that how the series ended? Didn't she actually, you know, you know skip, like, the next 10 seconds if you don't want to hear how Sailor Moon ends? I haven't personally watched the end of Sailor Moon, but I think I've heard that she just, uh, like, after, like, many people die, she just ends up becoming friends with, like, the main bad guy. I think that's how it works out. Please shoot me now while I'm flashing. Maybe? No? No? Darn you! <sighs> you can't end on a failure like that. We cannot end on a failure like that. So I think we're going to end this off with one final battle of Layton versus him. Oh wait, oh they're back to level 3, I never put them back, I got killed by level 3, darn it, I never switched them back to level 7, after I reset the game, whoops, these battles have been ridiculously easy by accident, although I guess that just kind of goes to show how bad I am at Smash Brothers at the moment, anyway, the true redemption battle, let's do this thing, 
in chemical plant zones. That seems exactly like the kind of place that Professor Layton would fight. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not going to let you kill me again. I will not let you do that. Die. Die. No, no, no. You're not going to fall for this trap where you push me off the edge like that. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Yes, Professor Layton is going to eat spicy curry and spit it all over your face. I really should have done something like this while he was small, but I didn't, so we're not going to know. Yeah! Take that! Professor Layton rules all! See, that last match didn't count because it was a time match, but... In a stocked match, Professor Layton is victorious! <sighs> and, as it is 3.15 a.m., and, as I think I will lose my voice if I continue on any longer, that has been Water Blocks Modification Slash Hack Slash Crazy Super Smash Brothers Brawl Thing. Check out his other content. Check out the link below to download this for yourself if you have a modded Wii and an SD card. Um, if you have questions about this, hopefully he will be checking out the comments so that he can answer them. Because I've just been... Uh, pretty much my extent of the knowledge of this is what I have just done um, in these videos, I have talked to him about it a little bit, but I don't know nearly as much as he does, because of course he's the one who made it. So hopefully he'll be around answering questions if you have any, so ask away, and yeah. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, hope that you go download this and try it out for yourself, because it is a ton of fun. And, yeah, thanks again, thanks again Waterblock for making it, thanks for watching, thanks to everyone, see you later.